Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Galsward, and I am one of the senior forecasters here at the National Weather Service office in Little Rock. We're going to spend some time this afternoon talking about the weather we are expecting for the eclipse on Monday, and also after the eclipse is over, the possibility of severe weather and heavy rain. Overall, the situation has not changed all that much. If anything, it may be a little bit more optimistic for seeing the eclipse across parts of the state. The overall pattern has not changed all that much. We're still looking at a broad south to southwest flow across the region. This will bring in moisture clouds and even a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but it appears any precipitation would fall after the eclipse is over. We're also watching a cold front coming down from the north. And this is going to bring in some drier air, but we are still expecting a rather extensive area of high clouds over the state. So in the path of totality, we're looking at about a 50 to 80 percent chance of viewing the eclipse with a medium to lower chance further south. I have to say once again, though, with the amount of high clouds we are expecting, perfect viewing conditions are pretty unlikely anywhere across Arkansas for the eclipse. So, looking at our totality, which you can see with the dashed lines on our map here, that area in green will have the highest chance of favorable eclipse viewing conditions. Even in this green area, though, where it's going to be about a 50 to 80 percent chance of seeing the eclipse, again, high level clouds are expected, which will keep the celestial show in check just a little bit. Further to the south and to the east, we can see the yellows and the red coloring, which means lower probability of seeing the eclipse. So even in the path of totality, which looks really, really good with all that green coloring, again, high-level cirrus clouds are going to prevail. Now across the country in general, we are seeing a lot of cloud cover across parts of Texas and southeast Arkansas. Even up in northwest Arkansas, you can see cloud cover as well, and that extends all the way into the Ohio Valley. In fact, the best place to see the eclipse may actually be in the upper New England states, but even though we're not seeing a lot of cloud cover on this graphic across central Arkansas, the computer modeling sometimes doesn't do the best with those high-level clouds, but we are expecting a good cirrus shield across the state during the eclipse. So from an Arkansas perspective, let's kind of zoom in and we can see our path of totality. So we are looking at cloud cover again, anywhere between say 30 and 45 percent. And again, it's going to be those high level clouds. Further to the south and to the east, where you see that gray shading on our map, that is going to be extensive cloud cover, maybe 60 to 70 percent chance or more, which obviously will have an impact on how much of the eclipse you're actually going to be able to see. So we took some cities near and along the path of totality and broke it down hour by hour as far as cloud cover is concerned. But I would like to take your attention to the far right-hand side of this graphic and notice how those numbers shoot up pretty quickly after, say, 6 or 7 o'clock. So it looks like kind of a narrow window for good viewing across the state. And if our forecast is off by a couple of hours and those lower clouds come in a little bit earlier, well, that would definitely have an impact on the viewability of the eclipse. But let's not think that way. I think these numbers are going to work out pretty good for cities in and near the path of totality. And you can see the number of, or rather I should say the percentage of cloud cover that we are expecting. And on that same wavelength, let's look at the temperatures hour by hour for those same cities. Looks like a pretty nice mild day overall, but look at the two o'clock time frame, which I outlined in red. Temperatures dropping a good 8 to 10 degrees during the time of totality and then warming back up once again. So that's just kind of a 
interesting little sidebar, but when you think about it, it makes complete sense. When the sun is in its eclipse, it's going to be cooler on the surface, and you will definitely notice that drop in temperatures during the eclipse. So once the eclipse is over, we get back to our normal Arkansas spring, if you will, and that is the possibility of severe weather. We do have a system coming in starting Monday afternoon and continuing into Monday night. We do believe right now that our severe weather chances and our precipitation chances will hold off until after the eclipse, but we do have to put in a chance of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms over the southwest corner of the state, but again, that will be during the evening and overnight hours. Pretty much the same part of the state for Tuesday, where there will be a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, and that's a bit more extensive on Wednesday, covering maybe the southern third of the state. Our primary concern right now with any strong thunderstorms that do form would be damaging winds, as a slow-moving storm system does begin to impact the region starting Monday afternoon and Monday evening. As far as excessive rainfall for Monday, again, we're looking at a large portion of southwest Arkansas, but we do believe that will be after the eclipse, so there is a slight risk of exceeding flash flood guidance. Now we move into Tuesday, we're looking at pretty much widespread heavy rain, especially over the southern part of the state. And we do have a moderate risk, which is about a 40% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance with a 15% chance or greater covering a good portion of the state. So it looks like the rain is coming, but the timing is going gonna, is gonna to work out, we're thinking at this point, of having these precipitation chances really ramp up after the eclipse is over. And once it does start raining, it's going to rain Monday night and into Wednesday and probably a little bit beyond that. We're looking at widespread four to six inch amounts. And you notice that red stripe down in the southern part of the state, that could be as much as eight inches of rain between Monday afternoon and Wednesday. So a lot of rain is on the way. We do need some rain, probably not quite that much this quickly, but again, if you're a half glass full kind of guy, it will be after the eclipse. And with that in mind, there is a flash flood watch in effect right now for the majority of Southern Arkansas. This will probably be expanded in time as the event gets a little bit closer, but the potential is definitely there for some flash flooding and if uh, not flash flooding, also river flooding as well. So, Tomorrow is the big day. A rare solar eclipse will be observed across Mexico, the United States, and continue all the way into Canada. It uh, doesn't happen very often, that's for sure. In fact, the next one isn't until about 2044 across the country, and for Arkansas, 2045. So if you have the opportunity to get out, take a look at it safely, wearing your glasses, of course, Definitely take advantage of it because this is definitely a rare occasion and it's going right over many of our homes. Must have to emphasize once again to wear your glasses. And we're not talking about sunglasses, those special eclipse glasses that have solar filters on them. You can do irreparable damage to your eyes if you are staring at the eclipse without solar glasses. Now, when the full totality occurs, you might be able to take those glasses off and look at it, but as soon as totality is over, put those sunglasses right back on. You don't want to damage your eyes, so definitely take precautions, and those sunglasses are available just about anywhere. And finally, again, the sun is dangerously bright and must be viewed through solar filters like those kinds that you see on so on, those, on those sunglasses, again, that you can pick up just about anywhere. For the latest weather information, please contact uh, our webpage. Take a look at our webpage. Go to our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and any place else that you can get reliable weather information. Again, my name's uh, Joe, and I would like to thank you for your time. And uh, enjoy the eclipse, everyone, but do so safely, and then prepare for this possible severe weather 
and flooding after that. Hope you have a great day.